the more you read the book and then you watch the movie, mm-hmm. all I could think the whole time was he missed the point. He missed the point of this character completely. And it mm-hmm. was, for the most part, it's the hobbits. He truly doesn't understand what the point of the hobbits is. And, um, you know, if you, if you look at what Christopher, Tol- Christopher Tolkien says, he is he did not like the movies. Uh, really? and he says, essentially, uh, if I can remember it correctly, he just when he was interviewed on the movies, uh, he says uh, the chasm between the beauty and seriousness of the work and what it has become has overwhelmed me. The commercialization has reduced the aesthetic and philosophical impact of the creation to nothing. There's only one solution for me to turn my head away. They eviscerated the book by making it an action movie for young people. So wow. Christopher Tolkien did harsh, pretty not. Take, yeah. <laughs> it's and and I'm inclined to agree because if you you don't get this on the first read of the book, you may not even get it on the second. If you've only read the book a couple of times and you read it when you were younger, mm-hmm. I would urge you to go back and read it again and just get the get the idea for what Tolkien's really trying to do because it's good. It's good versus evil. But Tolkien wants you to think about what is good. Mm-hmm. And good is hobbits. Good is good, solid, earth-loving hobbits. Men do great things, but men do bad things too. It's not that hobbits can't do bad things. It's just that their simplistic nature and their drive to do the right thing, because it's the right thing, even when it's uncomfortable and even when they're used to and like comfort. It's it's the thing that keeps it, it's the thing that keeps the whole world together. Is that is the fact that Frodo holds off from the ring for so long when no one else would be able to. Only a Hobbit could have done that. Mm-hmm. Only a Hobbit. Gandalf said he couldn't do it. Aragorn's wise enough to know he couldn't. Boromir mm-hmm. couldn't handle being near the ring. Denethor right. would have taken it in a second. Right. And so the only person of all the great and good and wonderful people, Galadriel, Elrond. None of them would take the ring. None of the wise would take the ring, and the and the others had to be kept from it. The only one that could mm-hmm. do this job was Frodo, and it's because he's a hobbit. So you miss mm-hmm. that entirely in the movies, and it's it's the whole it's it's a massive part of the book. The uh, you you it, the philosophical questions and the and the great good versus evil and the battle with on your own self is it's. It's a huge part of the books and you just completely miss it. So yeah. that's that's kind of my <laughs> my take on that. 